The following video was recorded during a live DMVPN webinar. Advanced DMVPN is just one of my many webinars. They cover data center, VPN, IPv6 and service provider technologies and offer either technology overviews or in-depth design and configuration details. For more information, please visit ioshints.info slash webinars. First, a very brief overview of what EMVPN really is. It's really a nicely engineered mixture of three time-tested technologies. MGRE, it has been with us for at least 10 years, if not more. NHRP and NextHop servers, they have existed in iOS release 10 dot something. So nothing new. And IT technology protection is also a really old technology. So the only thing that's new is that Cisco has integrated all three technologies in a solution that they call DNVPN the and they made sure that the solution actually worked. So they built this solution, they tested it, they fixed all the bugs, now it works. We'll go through the three phases. Phase one, where you have MGRE on hub and uh, GRE point to point on spoke. Phase two, where you have MGRE on both hubs and spoke and uh, dynamic spoke to spoke connectivity with dynamic IPsec tunnel. And phase three, where the NHRP redirects and shortcuts help you to establish spoke to spoke connectivity with partial route. Phase one first. As I said, point to point GRE on the spoke routers, multi point GRE on the hub router. Spokes just need a default route toward the hub router. That's all they need. Data traffic goes through the hub. It's a pure hub and spoke topology. Importantly, multicasts are exchanged only between the hub and the spokes. So, routing protocol updates or OSTF fellows, they are not burdening the other spokes. NHRP is used, but only as a dynamic registration tool so that a spoke can register with the hub. Spokes themselves don't need NHRP. It's needed by the hub so that it can collect the spoke tunnel endpoints dynamically so that you don't have to configure anything on the hub. From the routing perspective, next hop must be the hub router. So in OSPF, this means you have to use point to multipoint OSPF network type. In EIGRP, you just disable split horizon and it works. And in EBGP, you have to use next hop self. 